We're here at the Cheese and Deli Pavilion. It was a little hard to stop to talk to people because there's so much great cheese to eat. But we're here with one of those great cheese makers, Jill Giacomini Bosch from Point Reyes Farmstead Creamery. And I have been at her production facility. It is one of the most beautiful you'd ever see. So tell us a little bit about the business and tell us why you're happy to be back at the Fancy Food Show. Oh, sure. Uh, yes. Point Reyes Farmstead Cheese Company. Um, we've been in business for 22 years making cheese on our family farm. Um, my sisters and I actually came back to the farm and took it over uh, from our parents and now we're 100% women owned and uh, we make a great line of artisanal handcrafted cheeses both on our farm as well as at a Sonoma County uh, production facility about a half an hour away and uh, we're known for our blue cheese but we have a great line of um, uh, Toma and some flavored Tomas. We have an additional blue cheese called Bay Blue. Uh, we have our Quinta, which is our soft ripened Bloomy Rind cheese that's really special and kind of a, an anniversary cheese that we brought out in 2020. Uh, we have an aged Gouda and uh, lots of fun news about the farm and our sustainability practices all available at our booth 674. And how does it feel to be back live at the Fancy Food Show? Oh my gosh, it feels great. You know, it's honestly, it's like riding a bike. A little nervous about coming back. And then once you're here on the show floor and you start seeing old friends, um, you know, you just kind of get right back into the groove. And the nice thing is, is that all of the people walking are, you know, qualified buyers. So every conversation is either, you know, with someone that you've done business with before or a new buyer in a position that, you know, it, it, it all benefits your business. And you just got to be open to, you know, making new friends. Great. Thank you, Joe. We'll let you get back. I see you have a lot of buyers here waiting for you. So thank you for your time, you know, and we'll see you later. Great. See you in a little bit. Okay. We're going to be walking over here through the Savencia booth. Savencia is one of the largest cheese companies in the world based in France. Walking over to see our friend David um, Gremmels over at Rogue Creamery. So as we walk through here, we're going to be over and see, taking a look at David, walking past a bunch of buyers that are here and going over and it looks like, oh my gosh, it looks like David is here with his cheese all ready for us to try. So I, you know, let me ask you a question then I'll take a piece of cheese. So tell us a little bit about your company and I know you had some interesting experiences during the pandemic. So could you explain a little bit about how you were able to keep going and be successful during that period of time? Why don't you join me here, Ron? I'll sit down. So welcome to uh, Rogue Creamery. It's lovely to bring the flavor of Rogue Creamery and our Rogue River Valley to you. And so Rogue Creamery was founded 90 years ago. We're an organic company and a B Corp, Oregon's first B Corp, using business as a force of good, one wheel at a time. We're a mission-driven company with five simple words that represent our values, safe, healthy, positive, other-centered. And I mention this, Ron, because these are the values that helped guide us through the pandemic. And during the pandemic, we just simply listened to our customers. Um, we primarily made and created handmade wheels of cheese in bulk random weight sizes, and our customers needed us to create exact weight wedges and blocks. And so we reacted to that by just listening and responding and doing some test markets in the Northwest, which quickly expanded throughout the U.S. And this is what we created from our 5.25. Oh my gosh, that's so much smaller than what I'm used to seeing. You know, that's very smart. That's very smart. And didn't you also work with a, what was it, a cheeseburger place up in your area that was buying a lot of your cheese? Am I remembering that correctly? You are. And so uh, what we did is we actually created a crumble program for local restaurants and a regional restaurant. That restaurant is Burgerville, and they continue to feature our cheeses on their gourmet Smoky Blue and Oregon Blue burgers, and so representing these two cheeses here. What also really helped us during the pandemic was our e-commerce business. It expanded threefold. So for those who couldn't get our cheese through normal distribution channels, they went direct and we shipped it direct with biodegradable packaging that's also recyclable at curbside as well. So we put a lot of effort in looking at creating 
a package to ship across country to allow the cheese to get there in perfect condition, perfect temperature for enjoyment as if it was just coming out of our cheese caves for an organoleptic sampling uh, before we release the cheeses. That's great. Thank you very much. We're going to move over to your friends at Vermont Creamery and talk to them a little bit. Um, Creamery are also a B Corp, one of the few American artisan cheese companies that have joined us in being B Corps. And again, using our business as a force of good, socially, economically, and environmentally. Great. Congratulations on that. And, you know, I know you do great things about, you know, giving your employees bicycles if they, you know, come to work on the bike a certain amount of times each year. So always been a real admirer and we'll see you a little bit later. So we're going to be walking back through Savencia here over to Vermont Butter and Creamery. Walking through Walking through all this great cheese, and it's hard not to stop and taste the great cheese as we walk through. But we're going to be coming over to Vermont Butter and Creamery. And here we go. So, Adeline, it's great yes, to see you here. The, great to see gotta, you. Just like, we'll give her one minute and then we got to go. Okay, yeah. Could you tell us a little bit? We have about a minute. But I know you've had a very interesting journey coming to the United States and now in charge of a great creamery. So just tell us a little bit about your journey and, you know, what you're doing now. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Adeline Girard, the president of Vermont Creamery. Um, okay. I'm a cheesemaker. I went to the National Dairy School of France, originally from France. And 20 years ago, I sent my resume to Vermont Creamery because we were making um, French style cheeses. And I thought, well, could I get an internship in this little creamery in Vermont? Because they seem to make beautiful artisan cheese in Vermont, looks very much like France, and um, came as an intern, uh, worked for a couple months, and fell in love, fell in love with not only the, the, the landscape, the company, but also the specialty food industry and artisan cheese uh, industry that is very, very strong and very welcoming in the U.S., and, and then moved my way up a lot of bits. <laughs> well, it's a true success story, and there's so many people that are helpful and caring in this industry, you know, in all specialty foods, but particularly in the dairy part of it. I know we see each other at the American Cheese Society quite a bit, and, you know, it's just great to see how, you know, really competitors, you know, help each other, and, you know, everything moves everything forward. So congratulations on being the president. That's really nice. And um, congratulations on everything. Do you want to tell us just a little bit about the cheese? I, you win so many Sophie Awards. Did you win one this year? Did uh, we won uh, an award for um, outstanding food service item with our culture butter uh, for food service one pound culture butter uh, high fats and so it's we've been making this product for almost like 30 years so after 30 years to keep being recognized by the specialty food industry okay. uh, is, is a true honor and, and we don't take this award for, for granted. We're also launching new flavored goat cheeses. One is called Strawberry Spritz and another one's uh, Honey Truffle. And we usually use that show and that time uh, for new product launches, which has been very successful. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you at the ACS conference in Portland. Thank you and congratulations on everything.